Hello everyone and welcome. A while back I did a review of a digital caliper from Harbor Freight. Now I thought that was a decent caliper for the price range. Unfortunately, some of my viewers dismissed it as cheap plastic garbage. Well, for those of you that thought that the Harbor Freight caliper was junk, I decided to get a better quality caliper to do a review. This is an all metal caliper with a large range of motion. It is also a bit more expensive than the Harbor Freight caliper. So let's take a look at this puppy and see how it performs. But before we do that, if you enjoy watching honest tool and product reviews plus helpful DIY projects, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you get notified every time I produce a new product review video or DIY video. All right, so let's see what we have here. Here's a shot of the box for you. And let me open this puppy up and we'll go from there. All right, guys, so when you open this puppy up, this is everything you get. Now, this is the six inch digital calipers from QFun available on Amazon, link in description below. Now, at the time of making this video, this unit retails for $32.99. And I'll point out that they also do have some cheaper versions. They have about three or four other versions. You can check and see if you don't want to get the most expensive one that they make, you can get a cheaper one if you like. So go check out their Amazon page and you can select the one that's best for you. And if I do find any discount coupons for any of these calipers, I'll be sure to put them in the description down below. So check that out first before you do anything. Now, what do you get when you open this puppy? Well, you get the calipers themselves. You get a nice storage case to keep it in. You get an extra battery. You get a cleaning cloth to keep it all nice and clean. And you get the owner's manual that tells you everything about the caliper, how to take care of it, how to change the battery, measurements, all that kind of good stuff. I suggest you read through that. Anyway, so this puppy, the dimensions are 12 inches in length, about three inches up here at the measuring heads, and only about a little bit over half an inch down there at the measuring ruler. Now, this is an all metal construction where the body is made out of industrial stainless steel and the case up here is made out of a zinc alloy. It has a large LCD screen with an auto on and auto off function. Basically, you don't need to turn it on. The minute you start moving it, it automatically turns on and is ready for you to make your measurements. And if you let it sit idle like I'm doing right now, after five minutes, it'll turn itself off to conserve the battery. And the battery that it uses is a 3 volt CR2032 watch battery. So that's very common, very inexpensive, easy to replace. Now this unit is IP54 dust and waterproof. You can get it dusty, you can get it dirty, you can get it splashed water on it and so forth, but you cannot submerge it. So you can't use this underwater. Don't think you can go that far. Now the operating temperature on this is from 0 to 40 degrees centigrade or from 32 to 104 degrees centigrade. The range on this is from 0 to 6 inches or 0 to 150 millimeters. The resolution is 0 0.005 inches or 0 0.01 millimeters. The accuracy on this unit is plus or minus 0 0.001 inches or 0 0.02 millimeters. So you can use this for measuring inside diameters, outside diameters, and it also has the depth gauge down here, which we'll look at all that in just a moment. It has a convenient thumb wheel and locking screw so you can lock it in place for different types of measurements if you're going to be doing repeated measurements. So you can use this for woodworking, jewelry making, industrial measurements, hobbyist, automotive, household, pretty much anything you want to take a good accurate measurement of, this unit can help you with that. So let's take a look at doing some measurements, see exactly how accurate this puppy is, and we'll take a much closer look at it right now. All right, guys, so let's take a look at the two different calipers so you can see the difference as far as uh, quality and so forth and what a cheap caliper looks like compared to a much better caliper. Now, this is the Harbor Freight one down here. This is the new one that we're looking at up here. And you can see the difference just looking at the two. This one, you can tell it's a much better quality metal. It's a stainless steel. Where this one, it doesn't say what kind of metal it is. I wouldn't be surprised if it's some kind of inexpensive pot metal, that kind of thing. It is not very heavy. This is only about five ounces when you measure it approximately around there this one is closer to seven ounces so much heavier for this one if you like a caliper to feel heavy in your hand this is a good unit right here now you can see as far as the display goes you can see much smaller numbers right there or up here you get a much larger display easier to read 
And on this one, you can see a plastic case to it. Again, very inexpensive, cheap quality plastic case. Where this one up here, you have a zinc alloy metal case. And like I said, it feels nice and heavy in the hand when you're holding it. One thing I noticed also when you're sliding the Harbor Freight one back and forth, you notice it, it has kind of a rough feeling to it. You kind of have to fight with it a little bit. It kind of fights you. This one, on the other hand, has a very fluid motion to it. When you're pulling on it, I mean, look how easily it just slides. It just slides back and forth with no effort whatsoever. Very easy to move, no trouble whatsoever. So this is a much better quality compared to this one here. And like I said, they do have others that are inexpensive, just like this one from this same manufacturer, if you want to check them out. But this is a very inexpensive one. This is a better quality one right there. As far as the external materials and so forth, it is a big difference between the two. Now, as far as measurements go, I'm not going to spend any time on the Harbor Freight unit because I already did that previously. The purpose of this video is to see how good this unit is up here. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take some measurements with this guy and see exactly how accurate it really is. So let's do that. All right, guys, so let's test this puppy out and see how it performs as far as measurements go and accuracy and so forth. Here we have a standard ruler, normal kid's ruler that anybody uses for school or anything else around the house. And here we have a sewing ruler. I took that out of my wife's sewing kit. So let's wrap this up before she finds out. <laughs> anyway, so let's test this puppy out right now. And what I'm going to do is let's do a little bit of testing. You see right now I have a zeroed out. It's at zero right now. Let's do a little bit of movement. And it's very fluid as far as the movements go. So let's move it back and forth a bunch of times. Let's see how it performs. If you're doing a lot of measurements, you're going back and forth. You're moving it a lot. Like I said, very, very easy to move. Very nice and fluid. And you put it back, goes back to zero. Move it around a lot, put it back, goes back to zero. So the accuracy seems to be fairly good as far as that goes. It goes back to zero every time you close it up. And you can zero it out if you have a reason to. But so far, so good. Goes back to zero every time. So let me get this set up here. Let's go to the one inch mark and check and see as far as one inch goes. There you go, one inch. So down here, we're looking at one inch. And if we put it down there, you can see that it is accurately at one inch. So that's accurate right there. Move it up here, and you see right there, one inch. So that's accurate both ways. You can see it clearly right there between the two and three, no trouble whatsoever. Let's move it, let's go to two inches. Let's get it at the two inch mark. Right there, two inches. Let's see, between two and four. Again, nice and accurate. Between three and five right there. No, actually four and six. Looking at two different places. And you see right there, nice and accurate for two inches. So that's very accurate. And then leaving it at the two inches right there, if we put the depth gauge over here, Put it on the four, and you see right there, it goes to the six. So the depth gauge is also quite accurate compared to the rest of it. So that's not a problem there. And you have the ability to measure, you know, inside and outside diameter. You have the two gauges right here, top and bottom. So you can pick which one you want to measure with. But that right there looks fairly decent. And when you close it back up, and it zeroes again, back to zero, no trouble at all right there. So we're good as far as that goes. And you have your locking screw up here. In case you want to lock it in one particular measurement, you can lock it in that measurement all the time. And your thumb screw down here, which I didn't use because I'm going as quickly as I can. There you go. And again, a very nice, attractive design where you have all the numbers written very clearly back here on the ruler. As you saw previously on the Harbor Freight one, it doesn't have a very attractive design. This is much more pleasant to look at and to read when you need to. All right, guys, let's have a little bit of fun here. We have a precision measuring device. Let's do a little precision measuring. Now, over the years, people have made comments on my videos indicating that they had a question about the 
Harbor Freight Thunderbolt batteries, where they believe, in many cases, the Thunderbolts are smaller than regular batteries. So here we have three AAA batteries. We have a Sunbeam, Energizer, name brand obviously, and the Harbor Freight Thunderbolt batteries. So let's check and see, with a precision instrument, if the batteries are actually smaller or not. So let's take a look at that right now. Let's open this puppy up, and first of all, we'll start off with the Thunbeam. Let's measure this guy first and see what it tells us. And right off the bat, we're looking at 196.8 for the Sunbeam. One nine six point eight again for the Energizer. Let's take a look at the Thunderbolt. One nine three two for the Thunderbolt. Well, I guess people were right all along. The Thunderbolt batteries are smaller than the other two batteries. So that goes to show you right there, the Harbor Freight batteries are a little bit wacky and off base. So that's what you need, an accurate measuring device like this to be able to tell you things like that that you couldn't obviously just eyeball and see it on your own. There's no way you could eyeball it. I mean, look at look at how close they are. They're really, really close to each other. So an accurate device like that tells you everything you need to know right there. All right, guys, there you have it, a review and demonstration of a much better quality digital caliper instead of the Harbor Freight one. This is a bit more expensive, but it is much better made. Much larger numbers, nice stainless steel body, zinc alloy case, very well built, seems to be very accurate, very nice unit right there. I certainly like it. I suggest you check out their Amazon page for complete details. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye for now.